Pardon me. Girl, you know the Essence Festival was the other week. Mm. Girl. I heard one of the children had, that had red essence went down there. Girl, what's his name, girl? Ray Monte. Yes, we had talked about him on the show. Now, I actually like Ray Monte. I follow Ray Monte on TikTok. Uh -huh. I think he's funny. I think his content is original. Um, and, and I and I even I even like I, I think he's probably in his twenties. I don't know. He might be thirty. I'm I'm not sure. Um, but I also like how he uses his content or his platform. Like he'll go into a Target or, or <laughs> say to a, a woman and be like, "Oh my God, you look really beautiful today." Here's a hundred dollar gift card for Target. Like if it's a woman with a child. Like I love how he does that. Right? Uh huh. Well, baby, there was a woman on t t um, Twitter. Girl, what the woman on Twitter said? She had told him up because see what had happened was uh huh. We had talked before about how Essence, and you know how like yeah, they do me that like that. And like Amanda Seals was saying, they uh -huh. don't invite her to certain black spaces and things like that. And so he was one. Ray Monte was one of the people who BET do me like that too. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so Ray Monte was saying, you know, like it just he had made a statement on his social media about how they weren't trying to bring him there. He made a big fuss, da 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 da, and then. They invited him. Oh, okay. They invited him. Now, of course, the invitation came retroactively after he had already called them out. So he, you know, they invited him. And what the streets are saying is he didn't make it to his, his booking. He was late to the booking. And by the time he got there, it was over. And so this woman on, on Twitter posted this and she said this is a perfect example of sometimes you weren't getting the opportunities you think you deserve right now because you are not ready to receive them yet influencer Ray Monte had all of the internet rallying behind him when he called out essence for not inviting him to events or brand trips just for him to get invited to speak on a panel today at Essence Fest and missed the panel because he was late. When I tell you that these influencers need teams with real business acumen, I mean that. The main reason why a lot of black creators don't get the same opportunities is often because they don't have the proper teams to not only put them in position, but to make sure they are making the right decisions for their brand. This was a bad brand move, in my opinion. Well, Twitter was on fire about a, a couple of weeks ago, but you know, we've been gone for a while. So, I, you know, we had to circle back to this. And so, what some of the people were saying, uh, like this first person here says, uh, Raymonte didn't beg Essence for anything. He simply called them out for being hypocrites and they threw him a bone. Why do y'all ostracize young people for making mistakes? As if you didn't make mistakes in business that you ultimately learn from. And then someone, uh, he continued to say at the bottom, he said a uh, bunch of imperfect people that make mistakes all the time in their daily life, inciting hate and shaming of a young person for a small mistake. Y'all show no grace. Y'all don't even lead with love. Just dogpiling on folks to go viral. So disgusting. And so somebody in the comments had also said that I think... Um, his assistant, his assistant or somebody that works with him had a death in their family or some sort of an emergency. And that was what that trickle effect is what caused him to not be there. I don't know what what the case is, but I thought this was a good discussion because we do talk often about like content creators. And of, of course, you know, some of the young folks call us old casting up a brown <laughs> bitch. I didn't forget you. But. Some of them feel like, well, we old and we don't know nothing, and you know, we da da da, we washed up this, that, and the third. Oh, the, you talking about that child that, was that child over there eating the, the uh, buffalo chicken wings and the, uh, insomnia cookies? Yeah, yeah, right. The one that had all that conversation. They had for all me. that pressure for us. Correct. 
and was and call me transphobic because a person didn't identify as trans that Co you had right. commentary on. Correct. And I allowed you to do this. Oh, okay, right. got it. But ain't never showed up to any time when you know a bitch be doing X, Y, and Z for their community. Not only that, uh, he got all of those followers over there on TikTok and doesn't use his platform to uplift any black businesses. I have a fraction of who he has following him. And me and my supporters, we bought a van, a cargo van, for a nonprofit organization in my hometown, Baltimore, called the Catherine Family Children and Services. And they donate, you know, services and things. And Don't brag, Craig. Meals. I'm not bragging. Don't brag. Because it's like, I can't, like, I can't, yeah, yeah. Use, I can't, now I can't even talk about the yeah, things that I, that yeah. I, because it's just like, oh, you doing it. Yeah, yeah. You bragging about you doing it. This yeah, so yeah. I just hush. Yeah. You got all them followers over there and you can't mobilize your people. In fact, he has a GoFundMe over there and could not get those, all those followers and you couldn't get those people to donate to your GoFundMe, to that GoFundMe that you have over there. He was trying to raise money for somebody. And my thing is you got all, so that lets me know that those people don't give a damn about what you think. They don't give a damn about what's important to you. Yeah, that that, that was only sensationalized because it was this over here. Correct. Got it. Correct. So use that platform to mobilize black people to use and support black businesses. Do that. But anyway, I digress. So um, what do you think about that? Do you think that, because that's social responsibility too, to a degree. That's a lack of professionalism. Well, especially they should I think they should have came back and been like, especially when the person has countlessly on countless interviews and in, even in these new video, in these new interviews stated that they're, they are not a, tra a trans person and that they don't got no pressure with me mm -hmm. and that I didn't do anything to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where is the, and they, and they said that I call their dead name. That's not their dead name. That's the name that they're currently using. Right. He created that whole name. The whole thing, there. child. Right. right. I refuse to go over there. Bitch, when you heard that you got read by the doll, you definitely watched the, watched the whole thing. Oh, absolutely. Time. I'm the absolutely. doll. I've read you. And I'm the doll. Right. Bitch, when you heard that you were read by the doll, mm -hmm. you watched it in its entirety. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. And then, you know, you know, he got some kinds. He's so judgmental. I used to follow him. I used to think he was really cool. But then I just realized that he was very, very nasty in his commentary because he he tears Atlanta up. He said, like, Atlanta ain't got nothing for me. And it's so interesting. All he, these chicken wing spots down here, bitch, come down here and get you some of these JR crickets. He talked about Atlanta ain't got nothing for me. Ain't no way in the world. I would come down there. And, and I, I, I don't even want to visit down there. I would never date anybody who lives in Atlanta or from Atlanta. Anything that's happening here in Atlanta, trust, believe, and know it is happening in your city as well. It may happen here <laughs> more frequently because there's a greater concentration of gay people in this city or queer people in this city. But do not think that your city is impervious because it is not. But what do you think about this whole situation? Oh, because I was trying to like, girl, because I really want to go and I wouldn't want to turn the lights off and go. Well, you know, I because I didn't really get a chance to really I really want to turn the I lights off. Simmer down a little bit. I really want to turn the lights off and go forth. But I bless her, bless his heart. Let me not say her because I want to misgender him. Right. Bless his heart. Now you were talking about Remonte. Yes. Okay. Um I do think that once once you get the opportunity to show up, you should show up on time. Mm -hmm. But if there was a death in the family or death in in his team's in his family, team somebody or something like that. You know, that was that was good of him to, to attend that. And I don't know. Craig, listen, here's the thing. I ain't gonna talk shit about something and then be late and then show up late to it. I didn't get in, invited to the Grammys. I bought a ticket to go mm -hmm. to the Grammys because I that I was very excited for you know when the Renaissance thing dropped and the, the yeah. album was nominated, whatever. I didn't know anything about it, you know. Um, and so I bought the ticket that they had, I didn't get a chance to walk the red carpet because I didn't mm -hmm. have a red carpet ticket. But I, I still attended the Grammys yeah. and all this stuff. I was with the folks that I will I was on the album with, you know. Mm -hmm. Um I did get invited to the Emmys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I did get invited to that. Uh -huh. I did get invited to the VMAs. You know, I walked the red carpet at the Emmys. I walked the red carpet at the at the VMA because I was invited. I didn't get invited to the B, to the BET Awards. I never get invited to anything at the BET, mm -hmm. so I don't go. Mm -hmm. I when I went to the BET, 
situation. I went there uh, with my friend uh, who does my makeup, Steven. Mm -hmm. They invited me out to the BET Honors, uh, the, the, pre, the brunch thing, whatever that shit is that they do. Yeah. The BET something. I don't really. I try my best not to talk bad about the organization because you know maybe they maybe they don't never really get it in the right space. Because when I did show up, all the head people and all the stuff, whatever, because I caused such a commotion. Mm -hmm. I my presence caused such a commotion mm -hmm. for me being there that they had to shuffle the girl to the back, girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you know the people started lining up. You know. Right. right. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that which really pissed me off, yeah, because it's just like all these people know who I am, but y'all don't even y'all be acting this way, right? And then y'all have written articles about me, like we've written articles about me, like mm -hmm. in the same week that the shit was going on, y'all had just written articles about the ten LBG people y'all should know. So the this minute, yes, they in the same week. Well, go who was on is, the is, list? Is this... You were on that list, yes. Okay, so they put you on that. Okay, the, two three times, right? So, so Maddie, is this is this true right here? This comment, hold on, this comment right here, right here. B and T is homophobic. Yeah, I didn't want to. You can put it up there. Oh, I, I was. Um, sure. nice I mean, it's it's black culture. What what right? What why wouldn't black culture have anything? Why would why wouldn't black culture be homophobic? Why wouldn't it be? Right. It's black culture, so of course there's homophobia, transphobia. Of course it's there. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. So why you know? Right. It's black. So if it's black, it's if it's anything to do with some niggas, it's gonna be some you faggots. Of course. You know how it is. So I don't attend. Like I and I told myself after I after I after I was flown. Excuse me. Let me say. This. After I was flown from Europe. Girl, where were you seated, girl? Where were you seated? <laughs> what, what was that? You see this? Oh, you see this up here? Uh-huh. That's where I was. <laughs> so if this is the plane. Where were you? Oh, I was broke. I, I didn't go past row six. <laughs> but after I was flown from Europe. <laughs> to L.A. Mm-hmm. To get to the Emmys on time to mm -hmm. walk the carpet, uh -huh. it was a different feeling. What was that? It was a different feeling. It was like, because you know, you it, you got to know this. As black, you expect, you hope, you want, mm -hmm. you long for your black folk to, you to, know. To, to acknowledge you. To, and to, 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 to see your presence. Yeah. You know the image is W is W Y T. You know that. You know that's Y T. Come on. But to be flown from Europe to LA to get there to walk the carpet with my team of folks on time, mm -hmm. then to the same to happen for the VMAs. It's a different feeling. Right. I, I just I don't I don't know what to say. And then when I see fags, trainees, talk about how I tap dance for white people and also I nails white people to the cross just as viciously as I do anybody else. But the same thing just now to get a I just had a whole television special mm -hmm. honoring and celebrating yeah. me, my presence. Yeah. From Logo TV. Right. A whole beautiful television special. Mm -hmm. So you expect, I'm not pressed about it, but I go where I'm celebrated. That's right. So if you get the opportunity to go where you're celebrated, why not do it? I don't, this is this why when I see people say this stuff about, oh, RuPaul White, and this is other, this White, this is the other. I don't never see y'all invite RuPaul to Essence. I don't see Rupa. I don't see the. I don't even see any in. But I don't see any of these things. Like even at Black Prides and all this stuff. I don't see none of that. No, because they're too busy inviting reality stars. Oh, 
Oh, girl, you got soundproofing on the ceiling, too. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I don't see it. So when, when, when these girls come out of their mouth saying with such vitriol about this, oh, these white gay men, these white this and this white that with tears. I'm like, but if it was up to y'all, y'all wouldn't give me no job. Yeah, I wouldn't work. I, I, you don't want you. I, you, I flaunt my wealth and I'm, I'm arrogant, all this stuff because I'm like, bitch, I, I just be like, wow. Did you ever get your luggage back from Delta? I did. Oh, okay. Handle that. <laughs> you what? Handle. <laughs> See how I put my hand on this cup? Handle this cup. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I'm glad you got your luggage Thanks. back. How long did it take for them to get your luggage? Uh, less, than, less than eight hours. Oh, okay. It's on the plane. Because, you know, in the app now, you can see where your bag is. You know I, what I mean? I was watching the bag as it was still in, in the city. Oh, there. okay. I watched it stay there. Oh, so you got back to wherever you were going. And, and I watched the bag still, still be in there. Because I also keep it. I also had an air tag on my bag. Right. People, it's okay to go where you're celebrated. It's okay. And don't let no motherfucking body else tell you that you some coon ass nigga because you be a celebrating nigga. Because when I go get celebrating those places, dude, I, I don't give a thing. Oh my God. And I'm over there. And any one of you motherfuckers get out of line, I'm going to bash you in your fucking head with one of these bitches right here. So you, cr you act up if you want to, bitch. <laughs> Call me a nigga in here if you want to, motherfucker. All right. I don't never. Sh I show up to my place being exactly. I, who I am, am wherever I go. I am where. Come on, bitch. Yeah, I am wherever oh I go. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you don't say a word. Mm -hmm. I am wherever. everywhere I go. That's right. That's right. So that's why when I be seeing these people saying, "I wonder do they know if Madison if they see Madison." Those people know that my mouth was filthy, nasty, low down, disgusting, bitch. And they know I only use it, bitch, when provoked. Mm -hmm. They know this. That's right. So you can reach over there and tap them on their shoulder all day. Because they, they'll ask you, well, what you did to her? Right. Because she don't just do that, what you did to mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. That's right. What, she, what you did to her. You got called a monkey, bitch. What you did to her. Cause she don't, that ain't what she do. What did you do to her? Cause we know her. And not only do we know her, we know that's not her, the energy she gives. Mm -hmm. What you did to her. Mm -hmm. So bond together, bitch, like the two live crew, bitch. <laughs> and get as nasty as you want a motherfucking be. Because the people say, what did you do to her? Okay. I ain't going nowhere. I work for me. Who you work for, girl? For me. Who you work for, girl? For me. <laughs> <laughs> uh.